And here, the HDMI booth, you're talking about premium HDMI cables. Yes, so here we're showing about the uh, HDMI premium certification program, which is designed to be a, a test and certification for HDMI cables to ensure they can handle 4K 60 video and that they're tested for low EMI so they don't interfere with radio signals on uh, products such as uh, streaming media players and TVs. Because uh, when you did the uh, 2.0A and B, uh, they were all supposed to be uh, backwards compatible with the same cables that were 1.4, but if they're lower quality, they might not quite be good for 4K or... And so that was the reason this testing program was put in place, is HDMI 1.4B specification uh, had a lot of extra headroom in it, so even cables of poor quality construction could easily carry 1080p. But as we jumped to 4K60, uh, we wanted to put assurances in place that these cables were tested to carry the very high bandwidth video, the 18 gigabits per second, that is specified in HDMI 2.0. So, uh, for example, this one, it says here, premium high-speed HDMI cable, and it has a sticker right here, and they get this by being certified. Yes, yeah, so the cable manufacturers will submit their cables to an authorized test center. Once they pass, and they will test for each different cable length, uh, then they are eligible to put this uh, premium cable label. And this premium cable label is anti-counterfeit proof. It has an encrypted QR code on it and it has a unique hologram image in there that is read by the HDMI app, which will validate that it is a legitimate cable. As you can see here, it comes back and it says Panasonic three meter cable, which matches here, three meter cable Panasonic. Because there are out there some kind of counterfeits sometimes. Well, there are, with any product out in the world, there are counterfeit products out there, and there are also products may not have been tested. And so this anti-counterfeit label gives assurances to that from that manufacturer, when it goes to a brand, they know this has been tested and certified, down to the retailer, and all the way to the consumer. Because I can guess, I guess that some, uh, the way to do the materials could be 30 cents or $3 dollars, it could be a big difference in terms of using quality materials in there, right? So it's the quality of the materials and it is the quality of the manufacturing process. How well they construct the cable, how well they bond the cable to the uh, uh, cable housing, how well they shield it to minimize EMI, how, how tightly they twist it uh, to handle the very high performance. Because making a cable is not that easy. Even for all these Chinese factories, for example, some take shortcuts and then it's not that high quality. And that's why we're here at HDMI Licensing, is to uh, put the best practices in the industry and have certification programs to allow the manufacturers who do a good job to promote that they are tested and certified. So uh, let's say Shenzhen and Taiwan and uh, maybe Korea some, uh, and US, there, there's going to be uh, some partners of yours that are doing all this certification work? Well, we have 84 companies who manufacture cables have signed up for the HDMI Premium Cable Certification Program and have brought their products to for testing and brought them to the marketplace. But there's some companies doing the testing locally, close by the, all these companies. Yes, there are HDMI authorized test centers uh, spread throughout the world. There's a number in uh, China, Taiwan, US, Europe, uh, where manufacturers can take their cables for testing and certification. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an expensive thing to be certified, it's just uh, you'd, would you rather have something like this so <laughs> consumers don't get disappointed when they have, want to have good 4K, 60 performance? Yeah, it's really to provide assurances the cables are manufactured well and are tested so when you buy it, a consumer will feel good when they buy the new 4K TV, uh, the cable they buy with it is going to work uh, and deliver the full 4K performance. All right, and when you buy it online, is there a way to check what you're getting before you get it? Because this is in the store, all these stickers, right? But if you go on Amazon, how can you be sure it's real? So same, you look for the uh, label. Uh, you can double check the manufacturer against uh, the HDMI.org uh, website, which shows what's manufacturers. 
and when you get the product shipped to your home, you can also uh, check it there as well. And hopefully, it's a good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good surprise when you get it that it doesn't the app doesn't say oops. Yes, exactly. And so we also look out there at the manufacturers to make sure if they are promoting HDMI premium cable that they um, are actually certified. And all these are 18 gigabit per second constant bandwidth uh, speed, right? This yeah, they're, they're tested to ensure the full 18 gigabit will be carried across the cable. And then there's going to be a new program for 2.1, right? Because uh, it's going to be new cables. So uh, uh, HDMI 2.1 specifies a new cable. That spec is just coming out, and we will see what the future of uh, testing for that will be is under development. That's going to be kind of like 3.5 di times faster bandwidth. Yes, yeah, so you're jumping from 18 gig to 48 gig. New cables, new, it's going to be fatter, maybe different materials, something. Well, we don't specify how cables get manufactured. We just specify what the performance needs to be in order for them to be certified. So if they want to use copper or gold or whatever. Exactly. They can and try. So it's up to each manufacturer, choose the materials they want, choose the manufacturing process they want. But we set the testing and certification to ensure they meet the performance and the EMI uh, uh, radiation doesn't exceed a certain amount. And here we're looking at uh, three feet, uh, three meters. It's hard to do very, very long cables and keep the the performance right. Uh, is it possible? Uh, is it? It will. A whole each different length has different performance characteristics, and so that's why we test each individual length. And so, as the speeds increase for for bandwidth, uh, cable lengths tend to get a little bit shorter. 